I try to have a mission or a goal that is bigger than just the outcome or the product of my lab. In other words, I'm not only here to produce papers or to, to produce new knowledge. My name is Orlando Laitano. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Applied Physiology and Kinesiology. I did a part of my master's degree in the UK, assessing electrolyte composition of soccer players. So my research always involved physical activity or muscle activity. The name of my lab is the, the Lab of Muscle and Environmental Physiology. I think the name of the lab reflects the two main areas that we explore in the lab. Uh, the one that involves the muscle side, we focus on the myopathy of a disease named uh, sepsis, and that is characterized by a skeletal muscle dysfunction in patients who have suffered sepsis. One important aspect to mention is that exertional heat stroke is the most severe manifestation of heat-related illnesses. Mortality is around 30%, and these survivors will have consequences. The, the relevance of understanding the, the ability of the muscle to regenerate uh, after sepsis, it involves the, the activation and also the physiological function of a specific population of cells. The problem that we are observing with septic muscle is that something happens to these cells that they are now unable to be activated and to engage in the repair process. The main question that we are trying to address is exactly why the skeletal muscles are unable to regenerate after the septic insult. To induce sepsis, we use a, a procedure called sickle ligation and puncture. Then four days after this surgical procedure, we hind limb suspend the animal and the animal is now uh, as if it was bad ridden at the ICU. One of the initial observations that led to our research in exertional heat stroke was that the females, they are about 40% more tolerant than the male mice to our model of exertional heat stroke. And that was somewhat unexpected because the female mice, they are around 20% smaller. So our recent research, we approached the question of whether the ovaries play the role in this response. So we ovariectomized, we removed the ovaries of the female mice. And when we did that, they lost their ability to outperform the males. And, and now we are studying what exactly involves the ovaries that explain this in, in the context of heat stress. We come into the research side very well trained in the methods and in the techniques that we will apply for our research. But then a big component of the work is mentoring. The main goal of my lab is to nurture the next generation of scientists. My motivation is I want to change the lives of the people who work with me so that they can go on and sort of multiply that. 